Hey everybody, my name is Lanzer, and today I'm going to do a play-by-play -play out loud on Indar. So, if you haven't seen my first one, I did my first play-by-play -play -play out loud as on Austin, and I decided I want to do it for each continent, because each one's kind of different in the way that I play, and... Yeah, that's that's really it. I originally did the first play-by-play, -play, so I called it the play out loud. Lex called it the stream of consciousness during our strat side number seven, eight. And Lex said that he did a play-by-play -play of his infantry to articulate how complex it is and all the things that goes through his mind as he is fighting. So I'm doing the same thing as a tanker. I've been maining... Vanguards since beta and yeah, I've just been doing it for a while. So a lot further ado Here's the things that go through my mind as I'm tanking on Endar and It already kind of started uh, when I first warped in I saw Endar was the opening con and then when I warped in we don't have We don't have a lot of population because of the out-of-play areas. So we're kind of funneled into these small areas, which is cool Normally I would try and stay away from the warp gates, if I can help it, because the closer I get to a warp gate, the closer I get to enemy air. And this just seems to be more air the closer you get. But looking at the way the battle has flown, I don't feel like I'm going to be super supported at the crown. So instead, I'm going to go up here to Swarva, where there's a pretty nice battle going on. And just kind of see what I can see. Looks like I would be supported with... 360 security probably could find a good gunner help me out and So I'll go to Swarva Make sure that I have my module mobile armor module down and then just kind of check There's a lot of open space up here. So I'm probably gonna want to use stealth I already have that equipped and Let's go ahead and roll out I am closer to the warp gate, so I wouldn't be surprised if I saw air all over the place. It's nighttime, which that's good. Oh, okay, looks like we're already fighting. I'm gonna enlarge in my mini map so I can see better. And just kinda take a gander. Okay, so there's plenty of and some air. But there's plenty of stuff going on here. Oh, already armor. Let's see if I can't hit him. Okay, he's good. Ooh. Oh no, I missed him. Alright, there we go. Got the hit some flashes so I'm already looking at kind of the what I can do it to assist and what the okay so we killed him and that is enemy air get out of the okay so that I'll let the Sunderer deal with that as I move forward keep calling for a request to the gunner see if they can't help me that is a turret and so this, I want to give this lightning something to think about. And you too. Oh shoot, I missed him. Mag Rider. Mag Riders at distance are not very easy to hit. Just because of how they, how they work. They can just strafe left and right and it's just, oh this lightning thinks he can get the drop on me maybe? I don't think he realizes that he's in trouble. And neither does this lightning. Okay. So let's go ahead and get in. I have a gunner. Really? Okay. So he's down. And I'm going to drop uh, some ammo packs for that. Max. And let's see if I can't give these lightning something to think about. I'm going to pop my shield now. Because we got multiple... Oh, he's a sky guard. Anyways, I'll take care of him first, just because he's in my face. And then I'll back up, I'll rep. So we're doing pretty good, not bad. Already starting to blunt their offensive. And that lightning in front of me, ooh, a dive scythe. So that lightning in front of me, I'm not sure. Get back in, man. Get back in. Thank you. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can't kill this lightning. Who's got, got himself overexposed. There's a flash. 
Oh, there he is. Okay, so that lightning's down. Mag Rider. There we go. So let's go ahead and engage this Mag Rider. So I'm using my look left, look right that I've showed everyone before. Come on, man. What are you doing? You think I can't see you? Anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and rep again. Before I go and engage that Mag Rider. So we already blunted their offensive. So that's pretty good. And then we have a sweep going on behind them. So I don't think I'm going to be... I don't think I'm going to be too worried about moving up here. Oh, there we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. He got out. And I didn't pop my shield. I got two tunnel vision on that lightning. That was an okay run, though. Good first pop. To see how it works, I think Scythe, or Scythe, I think Stealth is probably the right way to go. They're far enough away to where lock-on, and I see enough lock-ons happening. Not enough air for flanker, not really peeking for Nimitz, not enough infantry for procs, and I'm not left alone. I'm not staying still enough for, for Nanite Auto. So I'm going to stick with Stealth. Let's do it again. Okay, so let's see, start calling for a gunner, move forward, pop around over there to see if I can't help the, si the Reavers out a little bit, even though it's probably not doing anything, <laughs> because I have ammo printer, it doesn't really matter, I might as well see if I can't get a lucky shot, makes no difference. Okay, so that steep incline was too much even for my racer. So I'll just go up here to the side. And then hit it just right. Now I can move. I don't really see what they're shooting at. Maybe they destroyed it. So I'm not seeing anything. I'm just kind of peeking around. See what I can see. Nothing really going on. So that's a pretty good intro into the play-by-play. -play. Oh, there's a dude right there. He doesn't see me. Oh, I missed. Thank you for standing still. But I didn't have enough speed to get up on that ridge. Lots of enemies over there. So as soon as I... Oh, gosh. I need to be up here more. So as soon as I crest this ridge, I need to be looking left to see what sort I can do about the infantry. Too much, too much. Oh, I overcompensated. Bummer. So this is a tough place to be in, but... <laughs> there we go. Let's see what I can see. So they don't know I'm here. Neither does he. Alright. And then I'm just going to kind of shell the top here to provide a little AOE support. Alright, got one. Kind of reveal them. And I can't hit that guy. Is that an enemy? No, it's one of ours. Kind of looks like he's purple from here. Bad guy right there. Let's do a little AOE damage. Take a look around, nothing going on. So yeah, I think you kind of get the idea of what the play-by-play -play for Endar looks like, at least up here in the north. A lot of roaming around across large terrain. Just keep a lookout to see if there's anything developing around me. There's some A to G going on in the spawn area. Yeah. And this is what happens at times. So it was a good fight. We were able to overturn the offensive from Benson. Up, up here over by the, the ridge line. And turn him back. So I just kill this little guy right here. He's got C4. Just wait for him to land. Wait for him to land again. And then hit. Okay, he's dead. And that's it. That's the play-by-play by Endar. -play by Alright, thanks everybody. Have a good day.